This is the review for Classics Deluxe Mirage. In many ways, this is one of the best figures ever made. Certainly there are better figures, but this figure is something special. In fact, this figure is so good that the guy who designed this, his name is Alex Kubalski, got quite a few interviews and really this is the first time that I know of, besides from Shoji Kawamori, that I've known the guy who designed one of my Transformers in. Shoji Kawamori has been in the business since the 1980s, so of course his name is going to be well known. Now, the alt mode for this is a Formula One racer car, and I like it a lot. It looks really good, especially in contrast to the um, original boxy design that Mirage had, which I don't know why anyone likes it. I think it just looks like crap. Maybe it's just G1 nostalgia. Rolls pretty well, but not going to notice it with this down. To transform this, the first thing you do is you take off the front spoiler. And that will be his gun. Next, you will pull this out, and these will form his legs. Split them apart, rotate around. Now, he's pretty big for his size class, too. Next, pull out the arms. And flip out his hands. Bring these up, bring this down, and follow it with this. And there you have Classics Mirage. Pretty big figure, especially for a size class. The only issue I have with this transformation, and indeed with the figure at all, is just you kind of have to remove this or it looks it doesn't look that great in robot mode and this doesn't fit down. Now what is interesting though is that these little panels that are above his legs let's see if I can do this. They're poseable panels but they look like transformed versions of this. So I don't know, it's interesting, it's like, it's still there, and yet it's not, it's... I don't know, it, it ha it's sort of charming to see that. Then this fits in his hand very nicely. And, as far as this guy's articulation, it is great. The only thing is missing is a, a mid-thigh swivel, but with all the other range his legs have, it's not really needed. The head on mine's a little bit loose. His arms, ball joint goes around and out. He has a um, bicep swivel and full double hinge. His head can look down, can look up. Um, it looks up more than it looks like. That's just because the camera is looking down on this guy. Looks side to side and finally we get to the legs. Oh yeah, he also has a waist swivel. His legs go out, forward, back this far, and then he has double jointed knees, and I mean, this guy, although it requires a little bit of oddness to do, he can bring his knee up to his face. Now, the things that really make this guy such a poseable figure are these. These poseable toes. They they can be used to balance him in any which way. Although, unfortunately, now they become a little bit loose on mine. But they, they will keep his feet flat. They will keep him stable. They will keep him looking good. This is one of my favorite figures of all time. That's all. Thank you for watching.